Hey everyone, welcome into Megan Grace DIY. Now, I'll be the first to admit, I don't really dabble too much in TikTok, so if you tell me about these really famous TikTok people, I don't really know who they are. I kinda know some names, like I know Charlie D'Amelio, and Charlie D'Amelio, and I, yeah, that's about it. Um, <laughs> but one of the TikTok stars just put out a really, really amazing music video, and I actually heard the song first. I heard it on the radio in a store somewhere, and I was like, oh, this is a great song. And then when I found out that it was by someone who's on TikTok, I was really impressed because most of the things I've heard through TikTok so far haven't been songs that at least I've found super catchy. But I went and looked at the music video, and apparently this music video is one of the most viewed music videos on YouTube right now. And what I'm talking about is Bella Porch's Build a B. Now, when I watched this music video, one of the things I really, really loved about it was the fact that the costumes were really simple, but really well executed and sent a lot of great messaging. And while I was watching it, I thought, wow, these could actually be really easy to break down and recreate yourself. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna do a little reaction to Bella Porch's new music video, and I'm gonna break down some of the costume themes that we see, as well as show you how you can recreate some of these looks on your own without breaking your budget. So at the beginning of this music video, you see guys standing outside this store called Matchmade, and basically you get the idea that they are there to pick out their perfect match or perfect woman. And they're all standing there kind of in suits. It's the lighting of the music video is a little on the dingier side to give you this sort of dystopian feel. Um, in theater, in any kind of theatrical performance, as well as TV, we set the tone with our visuals. We don't always have to tell the audience what's going on. So when we see a bunch of guys in line dressed up at a store that says match made, we can usually infer that they are there for some reason, probably a romantic reason because of how they're dressed. Now I have to talk about this guy at the beginning with the aqua hair. I absolutely am obsessed with him because that's the next color I wanna do for my hair. And it's mine's like a minty green right now, but because I had it done with the blue blue into the aqua in the winter time. I'm waiting, if you kind of see on the side here, I'll kind of show you. I still have a lot of blue in it that has to fade out and my hairdresser recommended that I let it fade as much as possible before we go in with any more bleach. And I'm just really jealous. His hair is beautiful, I love that color and that's the color that I'm gonna go all over once uh, the rest of my blue fades out. I love all of the heads on the conveyor belt. I think that was a really cute idea to again, include other TikTok stars. I'm sorry if I don't know any of their names. I just learned who Bella Porch was, um, but I do think it's really cute versus she could have just done a bunch of mannequin heads and had it be that way. Um, I think Ariana Grande had a music video where she was like removing faces and they were blank versus actually being lifelike. So I think this is a really, really cool technique that she did. When we pop up into the store, we see, first things first, we see a couple walking out, and then later on we're gonna see a perfect woman pop up into that tube. And I think it's really interesting that we have the women dressed as 1950s. There is a reason we kind of tend to think of 1950s as this picture-perfect wifey model. This stereotype is used all the time. Step for Wives is a big one that uses it. Um, I'm trying to think, oh, what's that? what's that movie? Pleasantville with Reese Witherspoon, Tobey Maguire, like this stereotype is used over and over again. And the reason for this is in the 1940s, we had World War II, we had lots of men go off to war and women were asked to come into the workforce to basically fill their spots. Clothing at that time started to become a lot more masculine. If you look at clothes in the 40s, we see bigger shoulder pads for women, we see straighter lines, we see more practical clothing. Then once all the men came home, we kind of had this issue of repopulating American citizens. So there was a lot of government government propaganda basically asking women to go back into their role as this perfect housewife and you see clothing become much more feminine. All of a sudden you see these perfect hourglass shapes. All the girls have to have nipped in waist, the big old poofy skirt, the perfectly coiffed hair in the morning and that stereotype that was developed out of that time period that still lives on today. If we look back we see a lot of propaganda that we would think is extremely sexist now. Um, but for then, that was just sort of the normal thing. Girls were expected to be in the home and providing for their husband and to look a very, very certain feminine way. Now, if you were ever looking to recreate a 1950s look, these are very, very simple to recreate in real life. If you go on Amazon, they have tons of vintage dresses. You know, some are better than others, some are better quality fabric, some have a better silhouette. Um, but if you typed in 50s vintage dress to Amazon, you'd get plenty of options, as well as a website I'd like to recommend called Mod Cloth. That tends to be one of my go-to places when I need something vintage besides 
stores that sell actual vintage pieces, but if I'm doing a period show that's anywhere from the 20s to the 70s, I'd say, I go to ModCloth, especially for shoes. They have really, really, really great shoe options for if you're looking for something that's really specifically 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s. Now, one little thing I wanna point out about the music video is they have the room where people are coming in to get their woman dressed, and some of the mannequins look really good, and some look a little bit thrown away. There are some dresses that hang really straight and because you're going for that 1950s silhouette look if you take a dress that's 1950s and don't put the proper undergarments with it it's gonna fall really flat and it's gonna end up looking almost more like a 20s or in some instances an 80s style look so there's this one red dress that's in the corner of one of the frames and I can't help but look at it I know most people probably would not even notice but it caught my eye that all they had to do was throw a belt on it and put a $10 petticoat from Amazon under it and it would have really changed the styling of that one dress. Next, I wanna talk about these awesome bodysuits that the girls are wearing. Again, this is a really, really simple technique, but gets across a really strong message. Repeating patterns and repeating shapes and repeating items of clothing give any kind of presentation a feeling of cohesiveness and a little bit more professionalism versus getting things that are mismatched or, you know, you might do the same color scheme, but it's not all the same clothing. Now I was looking at these bodysuits and when I first saw them, I said, okay, those must have all been purchased off some website somewhere or something like that. And I kept looking and then the more I looked, I realized that the pattern isn't exactly the same on each bodysuit. So what that tells me is they were custom made most likely. And I tried to find the fabric, but I couldn't find the exact fabric. So probably the designer worked with a company, had the fabric printed specifically for this music video and then had all the bodysuits made for the music video. So if you wanna go about recreating this look, there's two ways you could do it. The first way is like how I just told you, there's actually websites where you could submit a print that you drew and they will send you fabric with your print on it. Obviously it's a little bit more technical and a little bit more expensive. You would need something like Photoshop to actually draw the print out yourself, um, but you would get a very, very accurate representation of what was in the music video. Then once you got the fabric in, you would wanna get a spandex, have a nice four-way stretch. Um, you would make the bodysuits yourself and they're pretty simple bodysuits. They've got gloves, if you didn't notice that, um, and then I think a lot of the girls have them paired with different shoes, either, you know, knee length boots. I think at one point when Bella's coming down the conveyor belt, she's got almost like a stocking look with the um, patchwork printed fabric. Now, if that sounds like a lot and you're like, wait, I want to recreate this look, but I don't want to go through all that. What I would recommend is finding a simple bodysuit on Amazon. You can find it with or without the gloves. If you can't find it with the gloves, you can get matching gloves. Um, and I would probably get it in like the gray base, like a silvery gray. And then I would try to find a couple of prints that match the prints that are on the bodysuits in the music video, like a polka dot print, a maybe a houndstooth print, a hatchwork print, plaid print, something like that, cut up different pieces of it and then just hand sew it on all over the bodysuit. And then you'll get that kind of patchworked appearance that they're going for in the music video. Also, all the girls are wearing a thick metal collar and you can very easily find that on Amazon as well. And it's actually like, they have cheaper ones. They're not as uncomfortable as they might look. You can buy like really nice ones that are actually separate pieces of metal winding up your neck like this. You, you're not gonna want that. If you're wearing this out as a costume or something, you don't want that. You want just the one piece that's gonna snap in the back. It'll be a lot more comfortable for your evening out, I promise. And last but not least, we're gonna get to Bella's main look, that black sort of dominatrix, I'm gonna come and kick everyone's behind look that she comes up with about halfway through the music video. So when I first saw that look pop up, it gave me very strong bad blood vibes by Taylor Swift. Um, but the nice thing about the outfit that she has is it does a couple of really great things for her. First things first, I looked up how tall Bella is and she's only five feet tall. And she has a lot of things in this outfit that are really working to elongate her, especially for on screen because screen can sometimes make people look a little bit smaller. She's got, at the top, she's got those big old buns. Those things give her probably three or four inches up top to begin with. So she's got those up there to give her more height. Then she's got the long hair coming down and anytime we want to make somebody look taller and longer in costuming we give them vertical lines as many vertical lines as we can that's why when you try something on that's horizontal stripes and you're like oh this, this kind of makes you look a little heavier than I thought I would vertical lines draw your eye up and down horizontal lines draw your eye from side to side so she's got a lot of great things on her costume that are bringing her length upward and making your eye go up and down so it gives her some extra height 
I love this music video. <laughs> I think it's so fun. I like the song and I like the lyrics and I just like the whole, I like that it's short and it's quick and it gets to the point. It's so cute. All right, so Bella's look. Really, really simple to attain. You just gotta know where to look for the stuff. So we're gonna start out at the top. Um, you can get those hair extensions, those fake ponytails. Um, very easily on Amazon or you could go to Sally's but most of the things I'm gonna recommend I'm gonna show you a link on Amazon just because like as a costume designer Amazon Prime has made my job so much easier I can order things and then just return them if they don't fit and I can get things in one to two days it's it's a godsend um, so you can get those two ponytails to give you give you the length of the hair um, she has a leather bustier on now I tried to find one that was exactly like the one that she had on in the music video and I couldn't find that exact one but I did find one that maybe has about two inches extra at the bottom if you are really 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 going for specific accuracy you can just roll it up, roll it, fold it right underneath and it'll be a little bit shorter for you. Also her bustier in the back seems to have um, like a diamond shape cut out and this one is just flat across the back. Um, but I don't think that really affects the overall look really drastically. So I think the bustier that I've got pictured here is pretty darn good. On her bottom, she's got some pretty standard dancer shorts. You can find these again on Amazon, but you can also find them on any rave website, any kind of dance website. Hers, they cut up quite a bit in the back. If you're not quite so comfortable with having that much booty out there, you can get something that cuts a little bit underneath, but they are on the higher waisted side. So that way you have that, what do they call it? The Taylor Swift midriff. You have just a little bit of midriff showing. Then she's got on a, um, leather garter belt so it's basically a belt goes around her waist uh, I found one that was as close as possible but it's got an o-ring in the front and then these straps come down and they're gonna attach to garters at her legs now when you search for a garter belt sometimes you get, might get something that attaches directly to the tights that it's holding up this attaches to an actual band on her leg and then that attaches to the tights that she has on it seems like she's got kind of a floral tight on and that goes slightly above her knee so we're gonna have that be our next layer and then in terms of shoes it was a little tough to see exactly what she's got on for shoes one of the things that's hard about recreating a look that you're seeing on TV or in a music video is the lighting can really drastically change what things look like so I've watched this music video I'm sure probably a hundred thousand views are just from me from watching it over and over again and try to get the details as specific as I can um, but you can't really get a great look at her shoes so I'm gonna put a pair of shoes that I would recommend that I think would look best with this outfit um, but you could totally pair this with a over-the-knee um, boot you could pair it with an ankle combat boot I did like a mid-calf kind of gothy looking boot and the big thing about the boot too is the boot is most likely a platform that's probably giving her some height too so she's got on a four inch platform boot and then she's got another four inches gained from her hair she's now 5'8 instead of five foot one last thing I want to point out about her costume is she does seem to have some metal findings on it I want to say maybe the leg bands have some like some bullets or some chains hanging off them and they do all seem to have a rose gold finish to them so you again don't really stress yourself about having it a perfect recreation but if you added on just some chains and some buckles there it would really bring the entire look home and bring it all together and and <laughs> Before I close this video out, I do want to say something I think is really cute. When you see everyone running at the end, you see the people who are close up on, they have that dystopian look, bring again that dystopian feel back together. But they have the two ice cream workers running away and they have the 1950s feel. So I think that's really cool to do like a callback to that 1950s look that we saw at the beginning. So they're making sure you know that people think this is the perfect world. But if you look just beneath the surface, things really are not nearly as perfect as they seem. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video costume breakdown. And if you want to see more videos like this where I break down how to recreate the looks from popular movies or music videos, just let me know which ones you'd like to see in the comments section below I'd be more than happy to do more because this is what I do for a living so um, if you liked this content please make sure you hit the subscribe and the notify button at the bottom and you can also follow me on Pinterest and Instagram I hope you have a great rest of your day and as always happy sewing